just do it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel of DJ Mick Buckets. Yes, that's how it's pronounced. We've got ourselves a nice little review today. For those of you who don't know, by the obvious box and, you know, the timing we got here, this is the Jordan 6 hair. And we're going to do a little review. Check it out. Look at it on feet. And just have a little fun, figure out what's going on with the shoe, what the quality is, and if it's worth having. You gotta get the first look. Ah, all right, I like it. Boom. As you can see, we've got here the Jordan 6 hair. And as you can see, we have the, I don't know what this thing's called. A carrot to uh, keep the laces together. We've got the white body with hints of gray inside. And it's got the tumble leather. It feels really good quality. I feel like it'll be easy to scuff up, but that's okay if you're like me and you just own a crap ton of shoes. We've got here the nice little fabric plus the rubber on the tongue. And I've never had a pair of sixes before, so I'll let you know how comfortable this is after first try. Everything looks really cool. As you can see on the inside of the back of the tongue, it's got kind of like a crazy retro multi-color inner toe. What's it called? Inner tongue? I don't know whatever the name is for this thing. You got the Jumpman logo on the front, the Jumpman logo on the back, the hint of green on the back, on the, on the outsole, the hints of pink all around the shoe with the red tongue. And I'm not gonna lie, I dig this shoe. And from first look, I thought that the sixes were gonna be a little blocky at first. You know, they got the bumpy edges around the the ankle they've got kind of just a wide a wide shoe which works for me because i'm fat footed but anyway so the jordan 6 hair if you guys don't know released on june 17th after being pushed back a few times it retailed for 190 for 190 i feel like you're getting your money's worth out of this shoe i haven't i haven't felt the comfort yet from the quality that i've seen though this would be worth 190 it's going for about 250 on stock x right now we should have you know a box or something right here showing that for you guys and the reason i really like this shoe is because i feel like they did a perfect mix between the jordan 7 hair and then <laughs> with the jordan 7 hair and then a perfect mix with the jordan 6 white infrareds if you're familiar with the jordan 6 infrareds then you can tell that this looks a lot like them just from first glance but obviously the hints of the carrot and the gray and the slight green in the back kind of makes it a little bit different, kind of stands out a little bit more. And we'll put a picture of that here somewhere so you can kind of see the difference. That's good. <laughs> oh, I'm just admiring. If you did happen to cop a pair of these, I think the highest they're going for right now is about 250. The lowest you could probably resell them for is like 210, depending on what size you have. And if you want to keep them and wear them like what I plan on doing, I highly recommend that too because these are going to be everywhere if you can actually go out. So I think if you're a real sneakerhead, you should collect these guys right here. I think they will go up in price in the long run. And for my first pair of Jordan 6s, I'm really excited to start off with this one right here. All right, let's put them on. On to the next shoe. J Jordan. As if you couldn't tell by reading the title that's right there, we are doing the Jordan 6 hairs as well as the Jordan 12 Flu Games 2016 version. And so, as you can see here, we've got a dead stock. I've already seen him. These actually are not mine. These are my dad's. I got him them for Father's Day because he really wanted them. 
Come on. Look at him. Come on. What is it? Come on. Are you kidding? Brand new, baby. What? Come on. Brand new. For real. As you can see, we've got all the nice StockX fix-ins, you know, telling you thank you for giving us way too much money and fees. Shout out to StockX. Anyway, right here, as you can tell, this came out actually on May 28th, 2016. And if you're into 12s and the later Jordans, then you've got to love this pair right here. And the red colorway is always what sells the most and always what goes for the highest prices. And these retailed for 190 and I think we paid before before all the fees on StockX, it was about 380 I want to say. About 410 420 after all the fees. And for a dead stock pair of this shoe, I'm not upset with my, pur my purchase at all. As you can tell, we've got all the patent leather and tumbled leather mixed throughout the shoe. The bottoms are perfect for basketball. People say that the 12s, the 10s, 11s, and 12s are the best basketball shoes when it comes to Jordans and because they really focused on the grip on the bottom throughout. And as you can see, we've got the black upper with hint, hints of varsity red throughout the shoe. We've got the Jordan Jumpman on the tongue as well as two on the left tongue and three on the right tongue. And let me flip this over for you. I really like the back what they did here with the Jordan. And of course the 23 with the logo right there as well. And I mean, that's really all you got. You got the, the black eyelets, as well as the entire black laces with aglets as well. For 190, I think this shoe is actually much better quality than the Jordan 6 hairs in my personal opinion. I'm not sure what it is. I just think the leather they used for the 12s, at least these ones, are just much higher quality than the 6s that I'm wearing currently. And I, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think there's a huge difference. If you like one, you should get one, but these Jordan 12s right here, if you are into the history of Michael Jordan, the history of his career in basketball in general, then you know that these are the shoes that he wore during his flu game, which is actually just the bad pizza game that we've learned if you watch The Last Dance. Shout out to Jordan, big fan. So the reason that these shoes are so popular is because he wore these shoes during that game. And that's why they came out with, I think, two or three more retro versions of the same sneaker. Slightly different, exact same colorway and 12s as well. So if you're looking to get these on StockX, I would say GOAT or StockX. We'll put links or pictures and whatnot all right here. And I would assume if you are in between the sizes of eight and 11, then you're probably gonna look to pay at least 350 bucks for these, which I'm not going to lie to you, I can see these still going up in price, like to 500 eventually in a couple of years, if you ask me. And as you can see, the small hints, the Jordan logo is actually inside the eyelets on both sides. I think it's a really cool detail right there. Try to flip this over, show you the other side. On the eyelets itself, just a cool little detail. It's got all the varsity red patent tumbled leather mix and it flows perfectly with the bottom of the outsole for someone who really wants to get a pair of 12s one day and probably will for myself the breads are one that i have to consider getting which pair of 12s would you get comment down below All right, that pretty much sums up the video for you guys today. If you liked it, please make sure you destroy the like button. 
blow up the comments down below and commit genocide on the subscribe button. And I think our next video will be how to get cheap sneakers. Stay tuned for more. McBuckets out.